a bloody start to December as police confirm that they are investigating five separate homicides. Tobago has recorded its 12th murder for 2017. Dead is Dulal Chan Lachman, said to be in his 60s. Now reports are that Lachman's body was found in a decomposed state in the bathroom of his Cano Bay home on Friday. Seniors understands he was found with his hands and legs tied and his head, and his head appeared smashed. We're told he appeared to have been suffocated. Acting Senior Superintendent Joanne Archie, who was on the crime scene, said she wasn't pleased with the murder statistics in Tobago for 2017. Quite unusual for Tobago. Um, and we just recorded the last, 20, last month. Um, and what we're saying is that we, we continue to call on, on the residents when they see something, say something. We are not sure what would have happened here. I'm told the person there is a jeweler. Okay. And um, we, info, we receive certain information uh, persons visit from time to time and always there's always some dispute. Homicide officers are continuing investigations and a Canadian citizen was found murdered near the Eugene St. Madeleine Pond in South Trinidad this morning. He has been identified as Vishnu Narayan. Police said the 56-year-old's body bore marks of violence. Seniors understands Narayan was on vacation in Trinidad and was staying at Church Street, St. Charles Village. His body was found by an employee of the Ministry of Agriculture at around 8 a.m. While a good Samaritan is killed in Marabella, we're told 24-year-old Anderson Babwa was stabbed to death by a 21-year-old neighbor after failing to feed him. Now, Babwa apparently fed the mentally unstable man regularly, but was unable to do so today and he was stabbed. The incident is said to have happened at around 8 a.m. And a 32-year-old Shogonis man was killed after trying to fight off some bandits. Reports say at around 3 o'clock this morning, Ashram Ramnath of Chandanagar Old Road was shot and killed by two men who invaded his home. Now, initial reports from police say Ashram put up a fight with the bandits, which resulted in him being shot in the chest. This incident has prompted Coover North Member of Parliament Ramona Ramdial to renew calls for mobile patrols in every community in her constituency. And she's also calling on Minister of National Security Edmund Dillon and Commissioner of Police Stephen Williams to equip Central Police with all the necessary resources to fight the high crime rate in the region. While a 35-year-old Morva man was killed at his home today, at around 12 p.m., Kevin Batiste, an employee of the Ministry of Works, was fatally shot at his Cipriani Avenue. His brother told police he heard the shots, and when he went to check, he found his brother with gunshot wounds. He was taken to hospital when he was pronounced dead.